for Islamic invasions, they've done terrible things to us. But we don't have to forget it, we should not forget it. Because also, we they never... stayed and became us, Sadhguru. Huh? They stayed and became us. There were some invaders who came and looted and left. But for many of the people, such as the emperor who built the Taj Mahal, they are us, they are part of our soil, uh, assimilated into our culture. See, I want you to know, if there was no World War II, British also would have stayed. So that doesn't mean that happened because of their love for you. No. Whether they did or not, one should not hate them now and should not build walls around see, them now. Is that, what, is that your message? See, what I'm saying is, historically many ugly things have been done by different people. Quite right. Ugly things that have happened to us as a nation, right. we must remember. Now, ugly things we've done to ourselves also. That also is there, that's another aspect. Right. What others have done to us, we must remember, but we should not become bitter because this bitterness will destroy us. That's Why it. we should remember is so that we don't make the same mistakes and get into the same pit once again. That's very important for of me. Course. But at the same time, if… if today, let's say, UK spoke the same language that it spoke during the colonial era, definitely we will not accept them. Unfortunately, with certain groups of people, they're trying to speak the same language which was historically spoken way back. So this creates a whole lot of confrontation in the society. And uh, this… this entire misuse of this for democratic purposes, uh, when I say democratic purposes, because it's all a number game, so people are playing this game for last seventy years, so naturally you have kind of brought this little bit of fear in others. Fear means people are seeing what's happening in Iraq and uh, the Islamic State and stuff, what happened in Kashmir. So people think if these numbers increase, this will happen to us also because it's happened in the past. So I feel if one thing stops, I think this entire little bit of heat going on between communities will die, that is, you don't try to change the dynamics of demographics. Just let it stay this for next hundred years. Without anybody trying to increase numbers, you will see everything will level out. This is the only fear. That's why there is reaction. So, I was intrigued to hear Sadhguru say that because obviously some of the fear is stoked up. It is stoked, as you yourself said, mm. partly for political purposes. No. Uh, unfortunately, there is often a politics of polarization that assumes that whipping up certain sentiments will gather certain votes for a particular community. See, there yeah. is a politics of identity that says, let's promote the interests of our caste alone or our group alone or our faith alone at the expense of others. So I'm certainly not expecting and uh, accepting the political process whatsoever from this. But at the same time, it is not right, it seems to me, to suggest that this is somehow natural. It no, is actually, no, no, no baby is born intolerant. Somebody is teaching that baby its attitudes, its beliefs, whom to like, whom to dislike. And in the same way, I think in our politics, we are allowing some of our leaders to tell us whom to dislike and why for reasons that in fact, in fact are not part of our, of our daily lives. You rightly said in the villages of India, people live side by side and they don't feel any of this uh, hatred and unpleasantness. Is that a correct we interpretation of what you meant? No. When it comes to these religious invasions that happened, whatever the thought behind that, that thought you must surrender. You see, if I do something horrible to you today, ten days later if we meet, at least I must show some regret or remorse in what I have done. When I'm proud of what I have done to you, this is not going to settle, all right? This is what you're expecting. When people are very proud of what they have done to you in the past, now you want it to settle, it's not going to settle. It is just… I'm saying it'll just be an academic debate. It is not going to be a social reality. I am not interested in any debate unless it's a solution for the problems that we are in. So what's the solution? The solution is… the important thing is, you can do whatever you want, but you have no business to tell me what I should do, all right? And vice versa. Every way. I'm saying… I'm saying for anybody. Yes, yes. Essentially, this is this. Because people believe certain things, because everything that you have to ever know in the universe is written in one book, uh, people are insecure about that because we know what's written. The question is not whether everybody is like that or not. We're just afraid one day book will play upon us. 
So one thing that you have to do is, first thing whatever the past cruelties that have been done, many things, it's not a simple process. Right. See, people have forgotten what has happened in this Delhi, what has happened in one afternoon. One afternoon, twenty thousand people were killed in one… one of these days, you know, one… three… three centuries ago. People have not forgotten these things because they know what will happen to them. And what has happened in Kashmir, people have not forgotten. Maybe people try to act like it didn't happen, but it has happened. So, well, if the demo demographics don't change, you will see everything will settle down. The thing is continuously people in a very strategic way trying to change the di demographic dynamic. Now people are afraid because they know if the numbers increase, what will happen to them? So just don't do that one thing, you will see all problems will settle, believe me. Right. This is a reality which we are living in, where people who firmly believe their way is the only way to go to heaven, all right? First of all, I'm not interested in going to your heaven, <laughs> so leave me alone. But you keep on trying to change the demographics, there will be fear. If you think that is an empty fear, then you have to see what's happened. What is happening even now in certain parts of the world, you must see. It is not an empty fear. So I'm saying, whatever you believe, it's your so faith. So you say… I, first of all, let me finish this. Sure. I feel you, the moment you believe something, you are disabling yourself. Because belief essentially for me means you are not straight enough to admit you do not know. As far as I am concerned, either I know something or I don't know something, that's all there is. Everything that you don't know, you believe and you want me to believe the same thing? No. So this culture has never imposed anything on anybody because nobody believes anything. We are seekers. Seeker means what? You can be a genuine seeker only when you realize you do not know. Right. So. This is of a certain nature, now in reaction, unfortunately, we also tending to become like that, which is a very sad thing.